Hello, this is Scott with Sullivan Miniature Studio. Today we are going to make a Martian style base using Citadel's Martian Iron Earth. You'll need the texture paint Martian Iron Earth, Ryza Rust, Eldar Flesh. You will also need your base, your application tool, and your dry brush. So let's get started. First, we're going to start with the Martian Iron Earth. There are two ways you can apply this texture paint. You can either apply a thick layer, which will give you large cracks, or you can apply a thin layer, which will give you small cracks. We're going to apply a mixture of both to this base. I'm going to grab it from the pot, and we're going to leave some very large areas and some very thin areas on the base. Martian Iron Earth is a fun paint to watch dry because as it dries you can see the cracks form in the texture paint. So if you have time and want to watch it, you can keep an eye on it as it dries. Now that we have the base entirely covered, we're going to set that to the side and let it dry. Now that our base is dried, you can see the larger cracks and the smaller cracks that formed depending on the thickness of our application. These larger cracks are more fragile, so do be careful with this. You can add some watered down PVA glue to help hold them in place. Our next step is going to be to apply Ryza Rust. So we'll grab some on our dry brush here and work it into the bristles on our paper towel. If you find that your dry paint is a little too dry, you can add a tiny bit of water to the pot to help it out. But all we'll do is we'll dry brush this base using the Ryza Rust. And you'll see that the dry brush will catch the edges of the basing while generally leaving the centers of these pieces in the Martian Iron Earth color. I'm finding my paint to be a little too dry, so I'm going to add a little water to it. And then we'll just apply the Rise of Rust over the entire base. in here. Try to get some more of this texture out. And for a base like this, you will want to dry brush in multiple directions to make sure you catch all those edges. So it's okay if you turn your base around and dry brush from a different direction. Now that we've covered our base with the Rise of Rust, we're going to move on to Eldar Flesh. I'm not going to wash off my brush between these two layers because I want a little bit of that orange mixing into this right into the Eldar Flesh. So just like the Rise of Rust, we're going to get some onto our brush. Let's get this big chunk, and we'll mix it into the bristles on our driver on our paper towel. Once that is worked in, we're just going to apply another dry brush to the entire base. 
This time I'm going to focus getting just the edges and trying not to get any into the middle of all these pieces. You can see some of this has popped off because we did not apply that PVA glue to help hold it to the base. Just like our previous layer, we will turn the base around and we will catch the edges from different angles to help highlight them. And there you have it, a quick and easy Martian style base. This is Scott with Sullivan Mantra Studio. Thank you for watching.